you know, when things seem stagnant and not moving in a, what we'd call positive direction, sometimes we can get discouraged and lose hope. We almost want to give up, throw in the towel. We've all been in that place. Maybe you're in that place today. Certainly Israel was in the time of Zechariah, the prophet, and between Haggai and him, they were called by God to speak the word of the Lord, to encourage the people, to exhort them to get moving, to get <laughs> to get back to work. The foundation of the temple had been laid some 15 years prior, and the building, the structure was not complete. And they had been through so much trouble and trial, and of course, looking back at their captivity in Babylon, and just wondering, and and whatever you do, don't let the enemy lie to you and beat you up with false accusations. Even the enemy uses things that may be true. I mean, you failed, you sinned, you blew it. You know, we need to learn to take those sins, those failures, and bring them to the Lord, lay them at his, at his feet. Ask the Lord to forgive us and to and this and just to get back in the game, get back into the ring and fight the fight. It's going to be a fight. It's going to be a fight the our whole life, but it's a good fight. Paul said it's a good fight of faith, and certainly the Lord was speaking to Judah to the to, to you know to rebuild, speaking through again through Zechariah, and he says. And the word of the Lord of hosts came, chapter 8, verse 1, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I was ze jealous or zealous for Zion. I was jealous for Zion with great jealousy. I was jealous with great fury. Thus the Lord said, I am, re I am returned to unto Zion. I will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem shall be called the city of truth, and the mountain of the Lord, and the host of the holy mountains. You can just imagine you've been you've been tanked you've been wiped out by the enemy you've had so many things come down upon you and and they could easily say yeah god's done with this god's but the lord speaking through zechariah saying no I, i'm not i'm returning to your home zion and i'm going to be in the middle of you understand that christian god is always with you he'll never leave or forsake us again as we know we tend to forsake him and if we don't repent when we do forsake him, I mean, we can, we can end up, it's like sin takes you farther than you want to go, keeps you there longer than you want to stay and costs more than you want to spend. The reality is, with the conviction of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, our comforter, Jesus called it, listen, trust and obey and just repent. Come back to the Lord every time. If it happens all day long, come back to the Lord. But come back. He's with us. He wants to be in our midst. He wants to do glorious and wonderful things in our lives. And we have to trust him and his word and not look to anything else. And certainly not listen to the lies of Satan. Satan is a liar. And he's the father of lies. Don't listen to him. Listen to God who is truth, who is love, who is always good. Thus says the Lord, verse 4, there shall be old men and, and, and old women in the streets of Jerusalem, every man with his staff in his hand for a very age, and the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets of it, and certainly looking forward to uh, a future time uh, when indeed uh, there'll be girls and boys playing in the streets and old men and old women. I mean, we see that even to some point today uh, when God had uh, again regathered Israel and they're back in the land and they're a great and powerful nation today. But this is really looking even forward future for us in the millennial kingdom when Jesus Christ himself will reign upon the throne of David. Thus says the Lord of hosts, verse 6, If it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of, of the people these days, should it be marvelous in my eyes, says the Lord of hosts? I mean, uh, you might be hard, it might be hard for you to believe, but <laughs> I'm saying it and I'm going to do it. Thus says the Lord of hosts, verse 7, I will save my people from the east country, from the west country. I'll bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. They shall be my people, and I will be their God in truth and in righteousness. Isn't that a wonderful place to be? 
that we are the people of God and he is our God. We, we belong to him and he belongs to us. And that's what he's saying there. He's saying that particularly to, to Israel. And of course, as we see, once again, they're, they're a great nation today because God had regathered them. They were dispersed through all the lands. He says, I'm going to bring you back. And he does. And he, will, he is continuing to regather them. And, of course, ultimately, in the millennial kingdom, I will bring them and I will, shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem and they shall be my people. I will be their God in truth and righteousness. Thus says the Lord of hosts, let your hands be strong. In other words, the, the exhortation, the encouragement. Be strong. Continue to fight. Continue to build. Continue to work. Like he said in Nehemiah, you know, a trowel in one hand and a sword in another. And of course, the sword that we use is the word of God truth to fight against the lies of the enemy. Keep building and keep fighting again. The battle's never over until, until we're in heaven, until we're with Jesus. So continue to fight. Uh, you that hear, hear these days the words of my mouth, and the prophets who are the, in the day of the foundation of the house of the Lord, host was laid. You know, it's been 15 years since it's been built, that the temple might be built for the, for before these days, there was no hire for man, nor any hire for beast. There was no peace uh, to him that went out because of the affliction. I sent all men, everyone against his neighbor, but now I will be unto the residue of this people in the former days, saith the Lord of hosts, for the seed shall be prosperous, the vine shall give its fruit, and the ground shall give its increase and the heavens shall, shall give their due and I will cause a remnant of this people to possess the, t the things and it shall come to pass that as you were cursed among the nations O house of Judah and house of Israel so will I save you you shall be a blessing fear not let your hands be strong and that's a great exhortation of fear not you keep doing what I've called you to you keep you know, sharing your faith with others. You keep loving other people. You keep praying. You keep seeking me in the word. You keep fighting that good fight of faith. Don't be afraid. Let your hands be strong. Continue the work. Continue the work. We're in the last days, friend. We're in the last of the last days. Jesus Christ will return at any moment. And things are so crazy. You can't even tell what's true and what isn't true, uh, you know, in the media and in, in politics and in, in all that. You, it's, it's hard to tell. People are calling evil good and good evil. But we know the truth. We're founded in the word of God. We know the truth. We know what's good and we know what's evil. We have the Holy Spirit. Be strong. Keep fighting. And for Thus says the Lord of hosts, as I, I, I thought to punish you when your fathers provoked me, the wrath saith the Lord, and I repented not. So again have I thought in these days to do good unto Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. Again, fear not. That's God's heart. Plan for us. Plan to prosper us and not to give us evil. These are the things which uh, you shall do. Speak to every man truth his neighbor. Execute judgment of truth and, and peace in your gates. Uh, and let none of, the, uh, of you imagine evil in your hearts against his neighbor. And love no false oath for all these things. I hate, saith the Lord. In other words, keep keep integrity in the Lord. Keep doing what's right for other people. Keep being a lover of God and a lover of people is a point. And the word of the Lord, verse 18, uh, came unto me saying, The less will say to the Lord of hosts, the fast of the fourth month and the fast of the fifth month, the fast of the seventh, the fast of the tenth shall be to the house of Judah in joy and gladness and cheerful feast. Therefore, love the truth and peace. There's a time for fasting. Uh, and then there's a time for rejoicing. And when the Lord is present, just with, when, when, when Jesus was with his apostles, his, his followers, he says, why should they fast? They're with the bridegroom. There's going to be plenty of time to fast. The same here. There was a time when they, they fasted, but there's coming a time when you, we won't need to fast because we'll be feasting, we'll be rejoicing cheerful feast with love truth and peace amazing that's what god promises us we get to experience a bit of that in our hearts today by the holy spirit such a wonderful thing to walk with the lord and, and to hear his still small voice speaking to us and guiding us as we read the scriptures as we listen to bible studies as we fellowship with one another it's joy 
we get to get a slice of that. But one day there's going to be nothing but peace, truth, and love. And there's not going to be anything to distract us because all the evil and wickedness of this world will be destroyed as we live forever in the presence of our Lord. Thus said the Lord of hosts, it shall come to pass that there shall come peoples and the inhabitants of many cities, verse 20, 20 and 21, and the inhabitants of the city shall go to another saying, let us go speedily to pray before the Lord and to seek the Lord of hosts. I will go also. Yea, many peoples and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to pray before the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts in those days, it shall come to pass that 10 men shall take hold uh, take hold out of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, we will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. And, and the Lord Jesus sitting on the throne of David in Jerusalem, in Israel, and people of all nations will be gathered to worship the Lord together in that wonderful 1,000 year reign of Christ on this earth. He that was crucified, paid for our sins, resurrected to show that he is indeed the Lord of glory. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And if you get to, if you worship him now, you'll get to worship him for all eternity with him. You, he will deliver you from the power of death. He will deliver you from the power of Satan. He will deliver you from the power of hell. And you will live forever and ever. Put your trust and your faith in Jesus Christ today, who is King of kings. And Lord of Lords, God bless you as you worship him.